back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and today, in case you couldn't tell, is another Starfall Sabres Day. These guys, and what I mean by that is this guy, that guy, and those guys are all going to the same Starfall family, and uh, I'm sure that the new owner is thrilled to get a hold of these, just as much so as I am to show them off. So without further ado, why don't we just jump right in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. <laughs> All right, so we have quite the catalog of Starfall Sabres hilts, right? Um, this is actually all the same commission, so I'm going to do all these together, um, and it'll probably result in a pretty long video. But the overall functionality between them is similar. So these guys are actually um, a custom commission you know, pair, and then these are a custom commission vintage pair. So what does that mean? These are using vintage flash parts, um, like the shroud here and this section and right here and the, the clamp section. Um, so all vintage exterior parts and then custom machined brass. Noticeably so, I'd like to say this one is really heavy in comparison to these three because it's like, it's all brass. It's really nice. I think this one's, just spoiler alert, that's my favorite. Um, <laughs> this one also, uh, vintage parts. Let's get that focused up a little. There we go. And then this guy is a Shoto to be paired with this as it can be coupled to become a staff, which is really cool. Um, but we've got some beautiful acid etching on this shroud here. This uh, handle has some really nice acid etching. And then we have these beautiful 8mm Phil Guinness uh, tactile switches. Move that out of my way. And then this guy... Some more beautiful brass acid etching. I love the accents on this. It's it's so cool. This sh the shroud work on this is beautiful, and then you have this awesome pearl. So I'm gonna actually open these up and turn them all on, so you can see how to do that. Um, and I guess we'll just start from the top. So this unscrews. They all unscrew from the bottom. Um, this guy. And each one you're going to want to just hit against your wrist like that. It'll pop out, and then you pull the kill key. And then each one you'll have access to your um, profi board, kill key, 24mm bass speaker. Turns on. Shove that back in. Twist on your pummel. Same with this guy. Make sure that these are threaded. You know, you will know they should go back really easily, uh, and you shouldn't feel any grime or grinding um, specifically. Um, these guys. Unscrew here. And the bottom two sabers, so this one and this one, are single button and these are double button. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to have to get that later. But And remember, these are vintage parts, so... Uh, just be careful.
I was doing so well. All right, so now that all of these sabers are on, we can actually uh, go over some functionality. Um, these, as I said, are single button config, uh, and these are double button. So these are both going to be the same. This one, if you're looking at it from the shroud, the left side is your power, the right side is your auxiliary. So power. Um, so basically you can turn the, the saber on by powering it up and then you get blasters. If you want, you can lock up by holding the, uh, power button. So, then when you release, it will stop the lockup. You have gestures. So you can turn it on off and on by actually twisting the saber one way and then back to the other. It'll also turn on if you pull it down real hard. That puts it into battle mode, which is a whole nother thing. So all of your features like lock up, um, stab and melt become automatic. So it'll stay in lock up without holding any buttons until you move it away from the position that you originally made the clash. Um, and you can do that with stabs and as I said, uh, floor drags and it'll be a melt and then it'll just, you know, it'll keep doing the effect until you move it away. Um, blasters can be affected automatically the same way. So you'll hold the auxiliary, it'll trigger a blaster, and now when you move the saber, you'll get a blaster effect with it. Until you do that again. Force abilities, if you hold the power and release it um, when the blade is on. Uh, color change also, you can oop, oop, hit the hold the auxiliary and tap the power, and then this, by twisting the saber, it'll be any color you like. For that font, I'm just gonna set it back to red. Um, <clears throat> and then, Let's see, I guess, to, oh, to change fonts, geez, I'm forgetting a lot, huh? Just tap the auxiliary, and it'll get, it'll hop through forwards uh, all the fonts. And if you hold it upside down, it'll go backwards. For these, I really like reconcile. And by these, I just mean these two. And then these guys can also be threaded together. Let's do this. So in order to put these together so that they align correctly, uh, the Shoto, this guy, actually is going to be threaded onto the coupler where the venting is right over the uh, cover tech. So this side on here, make sure it threads nice and clean. And you'll notice that the cover tech lines up perfectly with this side, the opposite side of the shroud, and it locks in with this screw. So this one will now lock in on this side. And now you get the alignment so that the cover tech is on the opposite side of the activation box. So you get both shrouds on the same side. Um, and then you can turn this guy on. And then turn it off at the same time, like that. So I'll probably demo this over over there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> OK, so let's put that there for now. So the single button setup is a little bit different. Uh, I'm also less familiar with it, but I do have printed instructions that I'll be sending with this. Um, the saber can basically, you, it has gesture control, so you can just turn it on like that, and you can turn it off like that. I recommend the, that, the twisting motion as off because you turn the saber on by tapping the button. This uh, is a NeoPixel SIG switch, tactile switch. So any color the blade is, it, it's basically a crystal. 
basically. That's how it's programmed. Um, but you get blasters, and then hold the button to power it off. But it takes a while. So you, if you want it off immediately, there you go. Um, you can just twist off. To change fonts, there are two ways you can do this. Um, the first way is you would hold the power button, or just hold the button for one second and release, and it'll go to the next font, just like that. Or you can hold it for like two or three seconds. It won't do anything. But then now when you twist it... And you can see the button changes color according to the font. So this is a green font. <clears throat> um, and the fonts, obviously you saw, you can go forwards or you can go backwards in the fonts. Um, and they all are, again, same as these, the Starfall package. Uh, so you get, I don't even know how many fonts it is. It's a lot. It's a, it's a nice amount. And then you have all the color change options. Um, as I said, I'm not a master on these guys. <laughs> so the single button eludes me a little bit. Uh, a lot of these sabers, actually, all of them use the same blade retention. So in order to um, loosen that, they, they can be used as thumb screws. But honestly, when you put the blade in, it needs to be tightened more than you can torque this with your fingers. So you want to just use the Allen wrench and tighten the blade down. Um, and I'm going to send this Allen key with all the sabers. So you have your blade retention on this one here. You have your blade retention on this one here. The blade retention on this guy is right here. And the blade retention on this guy is right here. All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more content coming. As always, more Starfall Saber installs coming. They're all so unique and different. And uh, there's a few surprises coming up along the way involving that. Um, along with the long-awaited Thrawn Hunters and Ray Scavengers. So make sure to like and subscribe. And if you yourself need a commission, please feel free to reach out at john at sabersforever.com. I'm more than willing to send you a free quote on whatever it is you want to install. It doesn't even have to be Star Wars related. I'll even review it on the channel. So, until the next time, may the Force be with you.